a blue serpent, serpent. There's, there's, the eye, there's, there's the eye, there's the eye, there's the... Like, bang, this is like, more bang, like, a, rattle more like shape a, rattle a rattle shape of a head. rattlesnake head. Um, in, um, the bottom jaw. in the bottom these jaw. Are these like, are more uh, like uh, the thinner type, uh, thinner snakes, type that I've seen. snakes that I've seen. But they all, but they absolutely, all absolutely are serpents. Are serpents. I know because the Lord used me to draw them in. Well, what are these three serpents doing? They all have their mouths open. Isn't it crazy that it's right here, this guy's in the mouth? And when you see that this head of this serpent right here, that's going to become the queen that's holding her own child. And she's reaching her hand down here, holding the hand of her other child, representing that the queen holding the hand of her child is really her eating her kid. Okay, so now we're going to move on now. I'm going to put the serpent thing right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to show you the, uh, the queen. I kind of gave it away, but I'm going to show you the sheep. So here is the eye of the sheep right here. So there is the eye of the sheep. The sheep is looking this direction. So here's the eye. Here's the ear of the sheep. Top of the head. Coming down to the nose right here. There's the red tongue sticking out of the mouth. There's the open mouth of the sheep. Here's the nose. So this is the sheep. And like right here is a teardrop. And I colored that teardrop blue on purpose. You'll see in the harvest that the teardrop that's coming out of the eye of the sheep is really the head of a serpent in the hieroglyph. It's, it, this is part of the headdress of the queen, and that just makes it really bad because if you'll look right over here, I colored it in more of a metallic to where you, I blocked in the head of the serpent. So, the teardrop leaking out of the eye of the dead sheep is a certain that horrible guys. Because you see people that have the teardrops on their eyes tattooed. There's people that have a teardrop tattooed by their eye, meaning in gang symbology that they've killed somebody, that they're responsible for murder. Okay, so now this right here, that's obviously a sheep with a teardrop. I mean, it's just so stupid, obvious. But then you got to ask yourself, how in the world was I even able to see it? Because it was presented this direction, and there's the eye of the queen right there. But see, those who try and hide their friends from the Lord, they turn everything upside okay, so down. Okay, so now, turn this right here, that's obviously a sheep with a teardrop. I mean, it's just so stupid, obviously. But then you got to ask yourself, how in the world was I even able to see it? Because it was presented this direction, and there's the eye of the queen right there. Let's see, those who try and hide their plants from the field, they have to And I inverted it, and it's a sheep with a teardrop. It's a dead sheep. But when I turn it back like that, it's the Queen Nefertiti, the one that's holding the head of her own child that's turning into the two serpents, even now. So we're, we're, we're zeroing in on, our, on the enemy of mankind, the spiritual monster. Now let's go to a sheep. So ready? This is, the, this is a very important sheep. Let's always start at the eye, right there. See the eye? Now this sheep is obviously dead or in distress, obviously. There's the eye. You just look at the whole, you know, je ne sais quoi, the whole thing. And it's like, this is not good. This is not some happy, well, well off sheep. This is a sheep that's in a bad situation. Just look at the overall image. That being the eye coming down the snoot to the nostril on the far side of the face. And here is the nostril facing you. There is the nostril. And here is up under the mouth. And there is the tongue sticking out. This is very obvious bottom jaw right here going down. And then right here at this part, there's a very distinct part of this hieroglyph that delineates this part from the rest. It's almost like it's separate, but that's the ear of the sheep. This becomes the ear. And in the hieroglyph itself, this is the face of the child looking this direction. And I've been over this many times and if Zach can zero in on it, those are fangs. He's got two fangs like a vampire. So I don't know how easy that is to see, but we can show it to you in the files that we have, you know, in the show notes. Is that visible, Zach, those two yes. fangs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so y'all can see, see the knife blade would be really good here. There's a fang there and a fang there like a vampire. So the kids got like vampiric fangs. There they are. Um, but it's a dead sheep. Now just stop and think about that. This is the kid that Akhenaten is holding, but who's Akhenaten? Right over here, he's the serpent being looking back the other way. He's got his back towards this. 
uh, the serpent being is facing the opposite direction as Akhenaten in the hieroglyph. He's looking back the opposite direction. And here is the result of the hybrid kid, a dead sheep and a baby reptile. Okay, so now I want y'all to see the, a little bit of a difference in nuances, ready? Here is the baby reptile. There's the eye of the reptile right there. Here's the nose of the reptile, like the mouth area, but the nose of the reptile right here, nose, eye, little um, bump for a ridge for the um, eyebrow on the far side. And that doubles as the sheep's nostril bump on the other side. So on one image, it's the nostril of the sheep. That's the nostril of a sheep, but it's really the eye of a serpent. And we go this way, and then we get right here, and this is where the eye of the child is. It's actually a triangle. It represents the all-seeing eye. There's that triangle. Shh, don't let anybody know what's really going on. It's a vampiric system, and there's the all-seeing eye of Satan in the system through his reptilian children, and here it is right here. So there's the eye of the serpent. There's the, uh, the reptilian being. There's the nose coming up under its neck. It's in the fetal position, and there's the tail wrapped around it. See it? That's a reptile in the fetal position because it's inside of an egg. And I'll put the egg right here now. And then I'll put this in. It's maybe a little tricky right here. I believe that's it. And the kids, in, I'm, I'm sorry, that's the reptile inside the egg. Now we're gonna take the sheep and we're gonna put it right in there as well. And we're gonna do this on the hieroglyph and tape them down. Now take a look at what you're looking at. You can see there's a dead sheep there, especially when it's layered like this. Look at the sheep, there's a the sheep's eye, the tongue sticking out, the nose, and then there's a sheep dying, which is you, and there's a reptilian con consciousness growing in your head, which is Satan taking over you. So you're being destroyed, the sheep is being destroyed by the reptilian being, which is Satan. And there it is. And here, uh, I'm gonna swap out this image with one that I've colored a little bit differently. And it's got uh, some silver on it. I may have to wait till I get in there to line it all up for you. Basically, there it is. I'm in an awkward position, but there's uh, the whole agenda for you and the human race. Okay, so we're gonna work on this part of the hieroglyph right now. And then we'll put this stuff up and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw your attention to down here I want to show you this one sheep right here this is a, a very rudimentary just drawing of that one sheep where I use the the silver highlighter just to make sure you guys can see the simplicity of that being a sheep that's obviously a sheep I mean it's very easy to see for me and obviously that's what one of my gifts but here's the exact same thing right here so there it is this is an original so this is the original. This is one that I kind of went over. You can see they're basically identical, but this one has a silver Sharpie. So on a black background, you can see the rudimentary image of a sheep, yes? Okay, let me ask you a question. Why the hell would there be a freaking rudimentary image of a sheep hidden in plain sight? Why? Why would you go to the trouble of having these guys, these guys carve this whole thing, you know, rocking, a hammer and chisel, they carve all this out, but they had to make sure they got this dead sheep in there. Does that make any freaking sense to you? That makes as much sense to me as someone saying, hey, Johnny, I drew a picture of you. Someone that I don't even know very well except to see a bit Starbucks. I mean, the obvious question is, why the hell did you draw a picture of me? <laughs> well, it's a serpent eating a sheep. I hope you like it. <laughs> well, you gave me a, ser a serpent eating a sheep on an image of me, Hidden in plain sight. What's this? It's a serpent eating <clears throat> sheep in plain sight. Same thing. So that would show you that uh, if you have an analytical mind at all, you have uh, been shown probably the greatest mystery in the history of the world. That we're a sheep race being devoured by a serpent race. Let's do it. Okay, let's let's start down here. We're going to start. We're going to start with this sheep right here. There's the tongue. There's the eye. Nose, tongue, eye, teardrop. I'm going to rotate it like this so you can see the teardrop right now. I want you to look at that teardrop. I'm going to take it right up here. And I'm going to put this right where it goes. I want you to look right here at, at that serpent. As a matter of fact, I'm... I'm going to need a much 
cleaner uh, point than just that chopstick. So let me grab this knife to show it to you. Okay, so you see that point right there? That's the eye of the serpent. You can tell this is her headdress. She's got a serpent right here. There's a shadow of a serpent carved into the wood right here. So the serpent, here's the cobra right here. And then coming down from up here is also a serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the nose of the serpent. Here's the neck and the hood of the cobra making a U-turn right here by the ear. So now I'm gonna show you, look, the eye of the serpent is the teardrop of the sheep. That's messed up. So why in the world would there be a dead sheep, there's, there's your dead sheep, <laughs> there's your dead sheep. That's a dead sheep with a teardrop with its tongue sticking out, ready? Bam! And now I, Jonathan Clack, whom the Lord appointed for you, is putting an exact outline of that sheep where it goes on the hieroglyph. There it is. So is there any arguing this? Is there any way to say, oh no, that's not what it is. Do you see it? Um, one thing that's fascinating is I look at these, I'm noticing these all have faces. There's an eye and eye and a mouth. There's an eye and eye and a mouth and it's like it's scooping and it's right here that that dark spot is coming. There's movement going this way. It's going this way, kind of like it's almost coming down and grabbing it. Uh, wow, interesting. Well, look, what looks like upside down people. See, it looks like two upside down heads. As they're rotating, look, they turn like these little hands. It's very interesting. But anyway, there it is. This is not arguable. That is a serpent. You're meant to see the serpent. We're gonna start with this sheep right here. There's the tongue, there's the eye. Nose, tongue, eye, teardrop. I'm gonna rotate it like this so you can see the teardrop right now. I want you to look at that teardrop. I'm gonna take it right up here and I'm gonna put this right where it goes. I want you to look right here at, at that serpent. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna need a much cleaner uh, point than just that chopstick. So let me grab this knife to show it to you. Okay, so you see that point right there? That's the eye of the serpent. You can tell this is her headdress. She's got a serpent right here. There's a shadow of a serpent carved Security. into the wood right the here. There's so a serpent. Darkness and they say, who see right us? Who are with us? And then surely you're down. turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. You see the dead sheep? That's a dead sheep, you guys. Now I know why there's people drawing pictures of me with dead sheep on me because they're the serpent race or they're still a slave to the serpent race. It could be someone that's one up, one down. See, Satan can take control of you at his will until you get converted. Uh, 2 Timothy uh, 2, I believe, the very end of the chapter. Maybe 1 Timothy 2, end of the chapter. Uh, saying he's able to take control of you at his will unless you've been converted. He can still do it. So anyway, there it is. Yes, no. Is that a sheep? It's a yes or no. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to change that sheep and probably put the one that's got the, um, that's got the uh, silver, there we go. And I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna lay it on there as well. And we're just gonna double up so you guys can see and there's no way that could be fudged, see it? It's just not possible. So now we have a slam dunk on this dead sheep. Well, who did Jesus, who did Jesus he was looking for I've come to save who the lost sheep of the house of Israel Jesus said I've come to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel was there a dead sheep here this whole thing's about killing sheep this part because it's going up next this entire thing is the head of a reptile so this is the top of the head of the reptile right here coming down to the face like the the nose of the reptile this is the open mouth this is the bottom jaw of the reptile right here. Bottom jaw coming down, coming down. And so the whole eye of this reptile right here is the head of the kid. Now it makes other things the head of the kid. I don't want to get into it all right now. But also the kid's arm coming down. That's a serpent. There's an eye right there. That's the eye of the serpent. That's the end of the nose of the serpent. And that's the open mouth of the serpent. What's really crazy is I was doing that on my own artwork before I got saved and didn't even know it. I was making people's arms turn into serpents. Anyway, and that's before I got converted. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this up where it goes now. 
So everything's got a place. And here we go. So here you go. Here, let's go for the kid. Now remember, look at the look at the kid's pork chop leg. You see the pork chop? That's not normal. This is a funky, weird body. And you see the line right here. This is all a bold, thick change in shadow black right here. That's the end of the nose of the serpent that's coming up right here. And then this is the mouth, and you can see the mouth like opening right fang right here, and then going down underneath the snake's neck, and then it passes underneath here, and the whole thing is a snake. So let's go ahead and put that on. There we go. How are we looking on time, Zach? Do 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll do a 30 second clip. Here's a little snake right here on the kid's head, and there everything matches up right there. We'll talk about this big DNA transcription later. Okay, there we go. If I can get the tape on it there, more or less. Good pause. Okay, so we're gonna latch on. We're gonna get that serpent on the kid's arm right there. So here we go. So, so now the, the 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 hybrid child with the elongated head, the same as the elongated head over here. They all have elongated heads, and there's a reason. They're hybrids, and um, there's also stuff hidden in all the imagery. But anyway, so this whole thing is the eye of this reptilian being. The kid's arm becomes a snake, and if you look very carefully at the, the hand going up to the mother, like this is where the teardrop, I mean, if it was going to go this way, but look, look at the hand right there. That's an eye. That's an open mouth. You see the kid's hand? That's another reptile in his other hand. One's going down, one's going up. But what's with all the hidden reptilian stuff? Is this a giant snake right here? Is that the eye of a snake? And if so, why is the eye of the snake right here on the belly button or the womb of the, the female child standing in the lap of Nefertiti? There it is. So here's the reptile. Let's follow this around. Let's come down all the way down, come down, come down, and then the whole thing... And all we gotta do is follow these down and it all becomes the rest of the tail. But here's a part I find so fascinating, watch this. Here it is, here's the guy's open mouth. There's the open mouth right here, there's the open mouth. There's his eye and you gotta do the thin line, that's the eyebrow. Same thing over here, that's the eye, there's the eyebrow. There's the open mouth, here's his cheek, he's turned sideways like the head is falling down this direction and then incoming this way. See, I told you the nuance, the eye right there. There's the open mouth of the serpent. This would be the center of the serpent's uh, face where it's splitting. There's the nuance of the other eye on the other side right there. It's open. And then here's the bottom jaw of the reptile going this way, crossing over and then going up. So there's the bottom jaw right there. I'll box it in. And then the bottom jaw of the reptile becomes part of his face, and then that's the open mouth of the guy, but it's also the bottom jaw of the reptile. It doubles, just like my artwork. Here comes the other serpent from underneath. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the top of the head of the serpent coming this way and down, and then here's underneath the mouth comes this way. There's the joint right there in the, in the jaw, and then going this way, and then coming back this way, and then going down, and then here's the other one coming this way in the shadows. And I and there's a dark right here, that spot right there is where the eye is, the eye socket. And then here's the open mouth of that reptile right here. So let me ask you a question, who could see this? Let me ask you a question, who would even think to do this? Okay, so now I'm gonna take just the guy, I'm gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna take the guy with the open mouth and I'm gonna put him where he goes. It actually needs to be moved just a little bit. And this is this is an original, so it's may have a little goo on it. There we go. So we just arrange him and put him where he goes. And look at that. I mean, do y'all know how crazy what you're looking at is? So I'll do this like that and just try and get the hang of it. So there you go. So there's the guy. I, I, open mouth, serpent number one coming up. Serpent number two with his jaw. Serpent number three is coming upside down. It's more like a, looks more like a uh, Texas type rattlesnake. And these look like uh, like mama type snakes. Anyway, so there it is. And I mean, it's there though. All I did was block in all the shadows. Every good and perfect gift comes from above from the creator of heavenly shadows. Uh, I mean, from the creator of heavenly light. Uh, okay, so now let's just put on 
the tail right here. Let's see. Okay, right here. We go for the tail. And as I've looked at this, I need to make a slight adjustment on the tail, I can see. But anyway, but there it is. So there's part of the hard lift. Now, again, when somebody starts saying, oh, they have some like uh, input on this hard lift. No, they don't. That's them thinking they do. But this was an agenda of the destruction of God's angels. And this is the formation of the host party system. And, the, and when I say the formation, this is a hard lift that's a glorification of the formation of the host body system. So that's what it is. It's a glorification by carving it in this. And Akhenaten was the first monotheistic uh, god of the Egyptians. And that's why they wanted to get rid of him. It's like, oh, he, he's the only one that believes in one god. And I can assure you it's a sin. Okay, so anyway, so hopefully if I just press that down, it's easy to see. Tell me that, yes or no, is that the eye of a serpent? Is this a serpent with a kid in its mouth? Or do you think that I'm just that creative that I can just draw in an agenda of a serpent race eating a sheep race before I knew anything about any of it. Because this happened, you know, as one of the first things in my ministry after the Lord showed me that you turn the virgin upside down, it was a dead sheep. And then this is what ensued next. And then think about that. And then the Vatican comes after this. And the Vatican, can anyone argue with the fact that the Vatican's a snake? Of course not. Well, that means that the Lord God delivered this information to the person speaking to you so you can see that this is you that is you if you haven't been converted that's you so over here in the head of this kid there is a dead sheep and that is you that represents you because see we all got a new daddy when we got the flesh and you becomes your if you're if you have a host body who's your daddy satan he rules the flesh. The flesh is in opposition to the spirit of the living God, the God from heaven. It's in opposition, opposite position. So now we have an absolute, uh, we have a dictator that dictates the reality of everything that I've been showing you. And it manifests over and 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 over again. It just constantly manifests. Because that's what it is. Now what? You got 30 seconds left to know. When I got this magazine in the mail, so I still get my, my pair of shoes magazine because I'm a member of you. I'm not sure what's happening right now. USBA. So when I got this and I saw it, I'm going to pause it. Hmm. But I said, I, I said, I'm going to pause this for just a minute. Hang on, guys. We're just having a little bit of an issue. Okay, so if you'll bear with me just for a sec. We haven't even moved over to the child that's got the dead sheep in his head and the reptile. I just wanted to throw the other part in where they're holding hands because I haven't really shown that to you guys. I didn't spend any time on it whatsoever, but it's there for sure. I've drawn it in again uh, very clearly. Uh, it's phenomenal that it's there, but I can see it. Here you go. Get ready. And over and over and over again. It just constantly never passed. Because that's what it is. Now watch this. You've got 30 seconds left to know. When I got this magazine in the mail, so I still get my parachutist magazine because I'm a member of USBA. So when I got this and I saw it, I said, I mean, I said, well, I don't even have to open it. I guarantee you there'll be a manifestation of the system on the covers. I already knew it. Because, see, I can see the world changing. I can see this taking over everything. I can see it. Like, I can see this. So when I said, yeah, this will be a manifestation. So ready? So I took it out and bam. Look at the cover of the Parachutist magazine. The right side up and the upside down. And they're coming together. The lines have touched. See how they made this? Look how they did this. 
this is with intent. And I was like, yeah, no doubt about it. And then I looked, oh, they did a, they did this jump with everybody latched on. It looks like a worm. There it is, a manifestation on the front and back covers of my Parachutes magazine. But this is common. This is everywhere all the time, you guys. Okay, so anyway, so then really quick while Zach's here and there's still a couple, maybe a minute left on the thing. Look at the U.S. currency. Here's the old $20 bill, front and back. And there's, on this bill, there's a federal building bombing blowing up right there. There's the building blown in half. Here's the here's the new twenty dollar bill, bigger face of Jefferson. You turn the building over, there's a uh, and you fold it the same way, and then you have the twin tower bombing and the Pentagon. So you have a federal building, federal building, Pentagon, uh, Pentagon, uh, twin towers on these these two bills, and then you have the future bombings, and you have the Hoover Dam on the fifty. So all these bills have bombings on them. This guy's got a serpent on his freaking forehead. Look at that. Tell me that's not the fang of a serpent. Of course it is. This is all the head of a serpent. There's the fang. And the fang turns to a sperm. I mean, guys. <laughs> Y'all see what's going on, don't you? Okay, let's finish building this. Okay, so we're going to peel this off. And we're going to... I'm going to show you. Look at the points right here. The flames. These are flames. Look at the way the carving's done. Look at the points. The points are all going up. 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 See, look at the... This one right here, I haven't filled in, but same thing. See right there, and then going like this. See it? These are flames, or to represent flames, because the Pharaoh's got his foot on the on the floor. Now watch this. Now this is the original, so I'm deconstructing it right now, and I'm pulling off the guy in flames, and I'm gonna have to up because it's gonna be all gooey. But there is a guy that's in flames trapped right there so that represents you trapped in hell because you're part of their system come out of her my people come out of her because we got birth into her in the flesh do you understand we got trapped in her in in spiritual beings superhuman angel demon that's her breath is superhuman angel demon breath that's the spirit running the children of disobedience a superhuman angel comma demon. And maybe Zach can throw in a couple pictures right now from the folders so you guys can see. Superhuman angel up, demon down. And that this is their agenda. So now I'm just going to continue to deconstruct it. And I'm going to take off the girl that's being inseminated. And here we go. Look at all these layers. Okay, so check out all these layers that are going to come off here. Watch this. Okay, so I've already taken off several layers of the alien guy. Now watch this. We're just going to have to redo this whole thing. So let me just get this. There we go. So here we go. This is one layer. So there's the girl. Now when I hold it right here, you can see her. I mean, look how awesome. could come up with this idea as a puzzle and it all fit nobody you couldn't come up with this as an idea and say oh look i'll make all these things fit together and they'll oh and then guess what they're all going to match the vatican and then oh guess what they're going to match a card that my wife gave me oh and then guess what hey johnny i drew a picture and it's the same thing as a heart with this 1300 bc or another guy marcel hola jonathan mira yo lo hago para ti and jonathan i drew a picture for you why why are y'all all putting dead sheep on the pictures of me? Why are y'all putting serpents eating me? Well, that's funny over here. I was born and raised Catholic and they meet inside of a big serpent. See, there's the serpent they meet inside of. That's the Vatican, that's Rome, that's the headquarters. The serpent, there it is. Well, isn't that funny? The whole thing is a yellow peel. I outlined it in yellow. And the whole serpent becomes an upside down cross, showing you that you got locked into the flesh, which the serpent owns. You got turned upside down and you're screwed for all of eternity unless you turn back to God and you get converted. 
So unless you've been turned up, I love you in Christ, you're not one of us. I'm trying, that means unless you've been converted, you're not one of us. And that means a born again believer. All right. Okay, guys. So now for the record, I mean, for the eternal record, and I do mean that. This is the National Geographic that the Lord showed me uh, and had me open it up. And it said, Pharaohs of the Sun. And then there's the hieroglyph right there. And this hieroglyph, if you look right there, you can see the serpent being easy. As, I mean, so easy. There he is right there. You can see the penetration right there. Now that I've shown you the girl, you can see it. You can see the serpent right over there. Look how obvious it all is now that I've shown it to you. There it is. I mean, there's no arguing that. So and here's the thing. His the God into whom I serve was Lord penetrating God. the girl that was on her knees that I've already taken off. Now, here's what's left on here. What is this coloring? Why did I just color the neck here? And what is all this? This, this is, is the one, the one that's, that's doing all the up. killing. Ready? Here it is. Those who try and hide their plans, they turn I blew the whole thing down. up. I built a light board. And then he told me, draw in the changes of shadows. Nobody else did this hard lift out there in the world. Anyone that tries to take some kind of, oh, I'm part of it. No, you're not. Zero. This is a supernatural gift that's a serpent race destroying a sheep race. Because the Lord wanted me to use it as a confirming witness to prove that the Bible is true. So you can believe on Christ and be saved. That's what this is all about. So there's proof. There it is. Here it is. And then I want to show you one other cover. The Lord had me pick up this magazine one day. And it said... Solving the Riddle of Ages. And when I saw it, I had a witness of the Spirit, and I heard the Lord say, Jonathan, pay attention. Pay attention. I'm going to use you to solve the Riddle of Ages. And then he had my eye go right here, and it says, The Gospel Truth. That has nothing to do with this. This is just some little, you know, day, Zip Town, USA, whatever. Daytona, Tennessee. But the Lord showed me solving the riddle of ages, and then he spoke to me, Jonathan, it's going to be the gospel truth. And everything I'm going to show you is going to go to the gospels. So imagine that, that these two National Geographics is what the Lord used. Hey, whatever. Daytona, Tennessee. But the Lord showed me solving the riddle of ages. Hey, whatever. Daytona, Tennessee. But the Lord showed me solving the riddle of ages. And then he spoke to me, Jonathan, it's going to be the gospel truth. And everything I'm going to show you is going to go to the book gospels. So imagine that, that these two National Geographics is what the Lord used. This, go back to the night I got saved. If you think about it, the second thing the Lord told me was the pyramid your enemy. The first thing he told me was turn the word nylon upside down and was no lion. For those of you that know my testimony, Jonathan, read the tags in the closure carrying. 100% nylon doesn't make any sense. And he said, turn nylon upside down and 100% no line. So what's this hieroglyph about? Oh, it's about a supernatural being, a serpent being, turning his kid upside down so we can freaking eat him. <laughs> you start to get it? Serpent race. Oh, Clark, there's no serpent race. That's all the world is, is a serpent race. And you have to be born out of her come out of her you have to be born again to come out of her that's the way this all works so this is how the lord said this is how you're going to do it this becomes a confirming witness to my testimony because i'm taking all this to the bible those who try and hide their plans they turn everything upside down so let's do that right now okay so here is the creature with his tongue coming all the way out to the end of his split tongue like a serpent he's got a face like a serpent and we're going to turn him turn him upside down. So now I've turned him upside down. And I put him right in the place where he belongs. There he goes, right there. And so now he's on his location. I want to make sure everything matches up perfectly. There we go. He's on his location. Right there. Okay, so... Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret. I didn't they think post no one points. will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down. They think no one will see them or know what they are doing, but they didn't know that the Lord God was going to raise up this guy named Jonathan Cleck in the end of the world that would be the number one rat them out. <laughs> so I'm ratting them out. 
I'm riding out the serpent race and they love me for it. And so there we go. So now he's on. See it? There he is. Have I changed anything or have I simply drawn in the exact lines? Well, I'm going to draw this whole thing in again so everyone can, you know, see and believe it as I draw the whole thing in again on another light board. So here we go. Let's take the God. This is you. That you trapped in hell because you didn't take the free gift of God, which is eternal life. And I'm going to put them on right there. That's I guess the greatest advice and that represents you and is to forgive. Who doesn't get converted. I don't you see know it right there? I can with see anything. Right there. I just forgive. There's the horn going up. That way you forgive somebody. The shadow. Doesn't There's mean you want to sit down and invite them to the table. No, 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 no. Indeed not. So I'll just I put just... them all right where it goes. Let's see. Right there. I mean, I'm finished with you. You <laughs> done. Here, Go away. Pause it. Going to pause it again real quick. It's starting to drag. It's almost over. <clears throat> Sorry about the glitches, guys. I'm just trying to make it all happen. Uh, here we go. I haven't even drawn the rest of this. Now, I've started drawing it in again. It's conclusive. Let's see. There it is. Right there. We only have a couple okay. minutes left. Okay, pretty good. There he is. Got him. Okay, so here she is. Here's the girl on her knees. There's her eye. There's her open mouth. There's her vagina. There's a penis penetrating. There's the scrotum of the serpent. And they're, you're attached to them, so unless you know the truth, then you don't get set free of them because the way they hold you captive is through sin and unconfessed sin. So if you want to be their slave forever, just don't ever confess your sins and then be willing to stay in their system. So there it is. It's been, now this whole thing's been put together for you right before your very eyes. Let's see if I can get this. I'll just tape it up later, but there it is. There it is. So there's that part on. And then I'm going to augment this and put in a, I have another piece in the other room that goes on top of here, but there it is. There's the system. And it's not arguable because there it is. <laughs> so now imagine this, all that stuff I just showed you, ready? This whole thing is the same as the Vatican. Okay, so you have your upside down cross here at the Vatican, and the Lord told me to come in at a 45 degree angle. He wanted to show me something. So here's Johnny coming in at a 45 degree angle. There's the serpent right there wearing the crown. There's the mouth of the serpent. There's the sidewalk that's a split tongue. The whole thing's a locked door. There it is colored in for you side by side. There's the upside down cross. Serpent beans, serpent. Serpent, turn everything upside down, turn everything upside down, and there it is. So this is the same as all, all of this. Okay, hopefully, hang on one oh, sec. One more time, hopefully this will fix it. You know what, I still gotta put the kid's uh, head uh, dead sheep on. Very important. So hang on one sec. Okay, here we go. Let's take the, see the kid's head is an egg. You see the dark shadow right there? So I, you get the, you incorporate the whole thing. This must, my, so that's why Lady Gaga, by the way, right. got out of her. This might be the most important part to watch of all right here. Here we go. Egg on stage when she did her little presentation. Okay, now here's the kid's uh, destruction, imminent destruction right here. Okay, here we go. The kid is a dead sheep in his head. Let me line up his eye. I just want to get it really perfect. There we go. That looks like it right there. So there's a dead sheep in the head of the kid. Well, who's killing the kid? Well, 
remember the serpent in the beginning of the Bible? Hey, um. Uh, So who could build that? And does anyone else think that in any way, shape, or form, they should be able to come to my site where the Lord God revealed this through me, he drew it through me, and to take this and to start drawing on it like in some way you have some some connection to it. That's insanity. That would, and everyone I've seen try and do that, they've spun out. They've gone off the deep end. They have, they have taken this hard left. And again, that's why I tell people I'm not joking. You should never go and take the hard lift or the altars or any of that stuff and decide that, oh, I'm going to show everybody else what's in here. That would be a horrible idea. All right, there it is. And we're going to play this reel, and then we're going to get back to this again. Next video, we'll be drawing the whole thing in. All righty, guys. There's that. Now, let's go to back to here. Okay, guys. Do y'all understand how profound all this is? The word redemption means they, to sever. Let me see. Let me pull it up right here. It's this. So remember, every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the creator of heavenly lights. We are those heavenly lights. Not like them who cast shifting shadows. Now watch this. I just showed you them. Now watch this. Okay, so giving thanks unto our Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us, who has delivered us uh, through the idea of a current rescue, who has delivered us from the power of darkness. Look at this. Shadiness, that is obscurity, literally or figuratively darkness. Darkness of error or adumbration, shadow. Get it? Like those moving shadows. And has translated shadiness, that is obscurity, literally or figuratively darkness. Darkness of error or adumbration, shadow. Get it? Like those moving shadows. And has translated us, transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption. The word darkness of error or adumbration, shadow. Get it? Like those moving shadows. And has translated us, transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption. The word redemption is ransom in full, figuratively riddance by severing us from the serpent race. By born, having us be born again of a unified Holy Spirit of Christ from heaven. So we don't have a superhuman angel demon. Do you get it? Serpent being demon. Get it? The eye of the serpent being. That's the all seen eye. It's in the back of the head. That's on the back of the reptile's back. The head of the, the eye of the hybrid child that the creature is holding. Yeah, this is uh, the Alien Coven Covenant movie on steroids, but the Lord's allowed me to see it and show it to you. Is the Vatican a snake? It's a yes or no answer. Is that a snake eating a kid? It's a yes or no answer. Is it a serpent mean impregnating a girl on her knees? Yes or no. Then the person speaking to you is the one the Lord chose to do this. Anyway, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to let this fly. I love you guys in Christ. Snake? It's a yes or no answer. Is that a snake eating a kid? It's a yes or no answer. Does it a serpent mean impregnating a girl on her knees? Yes or no. Then the person speaking to you is the one the Lord chose to do this. 
Anyway, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to let this fly. I love you guys in Christ. Uh, quick, bear co the bear hug colt. I love you in Christ. Mm. Needed a good long hug. I hope you guys had a, a good day. And peace and grace. And I'm going to continue on this until I get this whole thing drawn in again and out and delivered. There's more in it. There's more to it. There's more. I'm going to tie it to everything in all the folders. Do you know how many different dead sheep there are in these folders? Even the movie Silence of the Lambs. It's all in there. It's in everything. This is catching the other race of beings. That's destroying God's angels. Mm -hmm. Pulling back the veil, the unveiling. Pretty crazy, huh? All right, well, here we go. Uh, I think I'm going to let this fly. There's there's plenty more, but you know what? Uh, if you guys want to go look at the folder, go look at um, go look at Special Projects 2. Go to the Sublime folder. Um, you know what? I'm going to play this little clip right here because I want to show you how simple it's starting to look now. Watch this. This is just drew it in again. That's all those little lines right there. Shadow of Andumbration. It's birthing the new consciousness. So there's the egg now. Just watch how simple and then I just went over this. There you go. No augmentations, just. I don't know what's going on with my screen, guys. And you can see the reptile. I just gotta, I just gotta add the little tail segments going around because I see them in there. But so there's a dead sheep for sure, right there, in the head of a kid, and the head's, the head is an egg, and look how obvious the serpent. Down his front and mouth, top of his head, his neck. And that's a penis and a scrotum, no doubt about it. I mean, look how obvious this is. Is that not penetration or what? Of course it is. So now the, the mystery becomes very clear. Okay, now remember, I have other hieroglyphs of Akhenaten where the dragon is coming out of the sun, the dragon. Okay, and it's beyond obvious. It's uh, a perfect dragon. So now they're all tied together. You're starting to get all this. Okay, so this is really serious because, you know, when the Bible says, what is man but a worm? Because you are. you. That Even I showed you the beard of the Pharaoh is really a worm. It's a canker worm going up into his face. The face is the illusion. The worm is the real thing. In the pit where the worm never dies. The pit. Where Jesus said, don't be cast into the pit where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. You see, I'm showing it to you. Yeah. Okay. I love you guys in Christ. Um, there's a lot more to show you, but I'm going to just do it in segments. Okay. God bless you guys. Peace and grace. I hope you guys had a great day. Pass this around, guys. Go Sorry put it about in the places glitches, where guys. people I'm think just they trying know to make it all going happen. on in the world just to show them they don't. Uh, this is what's going on in the world. Everything else is an illusion. Started drawing it in again. All right. It's conclusive. Let's see. There it is. Right there. We only have a couple okay. minutes left. Okay. Pretty good. There he is. Got him. Okay. So here she is. Here's the girl on her knees. There's her eye. There's her open mouth. 
There's her vagina. There's a penis penetrating. There's the scrotum of the serpent being penetrating the girl on her knees. And there it is. Nobody, and I mean nobody, could even think this up. But it's biblical. These are the ones that try and hide their plans from the Lord. Well, who are they? They're the serpent race. And they're, you're attached to them. So unless you know the truth, then you don't get set free of them. Because the way they hold you captive is through sin and unconfessed sin. So if you want to be their slave forever, just don't ever confess your sins. And then be willing to stay in their system. So there it is. It's been... Now this whole thing's been put together for you, right before your very eyes. Let's see if I can get this. I'll just tape it up later, but there it is. There it is. So there's that part on. And then I'm going to augment this and put in a, I have another piece in the other room that goes on top of here, but there it is. There's the system. And it's not arguable because there it is. <laughs> so... Now, imagine this. All that stuff I just showed you, ready? This whole thing is the same as the Vatican. Okay, so you have your upside down cross here at the Vatican, and the Lord told me to come in at a 45 degree angle. He wanted to show me something. So here's Johnny coming in at a 45 degree angle. There's the serpent right there wearing the crown. There's the mouth of the serpent. There's the sidewalk that's a split tongue. The whole thing's a locked door. There it is colored in for you side by side. There's the upside down cross. Serpent beans, serpent, serpent. Turn everything upside down, turn everything upside down. And there it is. So this is the same as all, all, all of this. Okay, hopefully, hang on one oh, sec. So bottom jaw these are more like uh, the thinner type snakes that I've seen but they all absolutely are serpents I know because the Lord used me to draw them in well what are these three serpents all doing they all have their mouths open isn't it crazy that it's right here this guy's in the mouth and when you see that this head of this serpent right here that's gonna become the queen that's holding her own child and she's reaching her hand down here, holding the hand of her other child, representing that the queen holding the hand of her child is really her eating her kid. Okay, so now we're gonna move on now. I'm gonna put the serpent thing right over here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over here, and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the queen. I kind of gave it away, but I'm gonna show you the sheep. So here is the eye of the sheep right here. So there is the eye of the sheep. The sheep is looking this direction. So here's the eye, here's the ear of the sheep, top of the head, coming down to the nose right here. There's the red tongue sticking out of the mouth. There's the open mouth of the sheep. Here's under the neck. So this is the sheep and look, right here is a teardrop. And I colored that teardrop blue on purpose. You'll see in the hieroglyph that the teardrop that's coming out of the eye of the sheep is really the head of a serpent in the hieroglyph it's it this is part of the headdress of the queen and that just makes it really bad because if you'll look right over here i colored it in more of a metallic to where you i blocked in the head of the serpent right here there's the eye there's the head of the serpent so the teardrop leaking out of the eye of the dead sheep is a serpent that's horrifying you guys that because you see people that have the teardrops on their eyes tattooed there's people that have a teardrop tattooed by their eye meaning in gang symbology that they've killed somebody that they're responsible for murder okay so now this right here that's obviously a sheep with a teardrop i mean it's just so stupid obvious but then you gotta ask yourself how in the world was i even able to see it because it was presented this direction and there's the eye of the queen right there but see, those who try and hide their plans from the Lord, they turn everything upside down. So I turn it the other direction and I inverted it and it's a sheep with a teardrop. It's a dead sheep. But when I turn it back like that, it's the Queen Nefertiti, the one that's holding the head of her own child that's turning into three serpents eating a, a, a human being. 
So we're, we're, we're zeroing in on our on the enemy of mankind, the spiritual monster. Now let's go to a sheep. Y'all ready? This is, the, this is a very important sheep. Let's always start at the eye right there. See the eye? Now this sheep is obviously dead or in distress, obviously. There's the eye. You just look at the whole, you know, je ne sais quoi, the whole thing. And it's like, this is not good. This is not some happy, well, well off sheep. This is a sheep that's in a bad situation. Just look at the overall image. That being the eye coming down the snoot to the nostril on the far side of the face. And here is the nostril facing you. There's the nostril. And here's up under the mouth, and there's the tongue sticking out. This is very obvious, bottom jaw right here going down. And then right here at this part, there's a very distinct part of this hieroglyph that delineates this part from the rest. It's almost like it's separate, but that's the ear of the sheep. This becomes the ear. And in the hieroglyph itself, this is the face of the child looking this direction. And I've been over this many times, and if Zach can zero in on it, those are fangs. He's got two fangs like a vampire. So I don't know how easy that is to see, but we can show it to you in the files that we have, you know, in the show notes. Is that visible, Zach, those two yes. fangs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so y'all can see, see the knife blade would be really good here. There's a fang there and a fang there like a vampire. So the kid's got like vampiric fangs. There they are. Um, but it's a dead sheep. Now just stop and think about that. This is the kid that Akhenaten is holding, but who's Akhenaten? Right over here, he's the serpent being looking back the other way. He's got his back towards this. Uh, the serpent being is facing the opposite direction as Akhenaten in the hieroglyph. He's looking back the opposite direction. And here is the result of the hybrid kid, a dead sheep and a baby reptile. Okay, so now I want y'all to see the a little bit of a difference in nuances. Ready? Here is the baby reptile. There's the eye of the reptile right there. Here's the nose of the reptile, like the mouth area. But the nose of the reptile right here, nose, eye, little um, bump for a ridge for the um, eyebrow on the far side. And that doubles as the sheep's nostril bump on the other side. So on one image, it's the nostril of the sheep. That's the nostril of the sheep, but it's really the eye of a serpent. And we go this way, and then we get right here, and this is where the eye of the child is. It's actually a triangle. It represents the all-seeing eye. There's that triangle. Shh, don't let anybody know what's really going on. It's a vampiric system, and there's the all-seeing eye of Satan in the system through his reptilian children, and here it is right here. So there's the eye of the serpent, there's the, uh, the reptilian being, there's the nose coming up under its neck. It's in the fetal position and there's the tail wrapped around it, see it? That's a reptile in the fetal position because it's inside of an egg. And I'll put the egg right here now. And then I'll put this in, it's maybe a little tricky right here. I believe that's it. And Kids in, I'm, I'm sorry, that's the reptile inside the egg. Now we're gonna take the sheep and we're gonna put it right in there as well. And we're gonna do this on the hieroglyph and tape them down. Now take a look at what you're looking at. You can see there's a dead sheep there, especially when it's layered like this. Look at the sheep, there's a sheep's eye, the tongue sticking out, the nose, and then there's a sheep dying, which is you, and there's a reptilian caught consciousness growing in your head which is Satan taking over you so you're being destroyed the sheep is being destroyed by the reptilian being which is Satan and there it is and here uh, I'm going to swap out this image with one that I've colored a little bit differently and it's got a some silver on it
so that they carve all this out, but they had to make sure they got the dead sheep in there, because that makes any freaking sense to you. That makes as much sense to me as someone saying, hey, Johnny, are you with this for me? Someone that I don't even know very well, except for the people at Starbucks. I mean, the obvious question is, why the hell would you draw your name? Oh, Well, he gave me a, ser a serpent eating a sheep on an image of me. Hidden in plain sight. What's this? It's a serpent eating sheep in plain sight. Same thing. So that would show you that uh, if you have an analytical mind at all, you have uh, been shown all these of all of this. But we're a sheep race being devoured by a serpent. Let's do it. Okay, let's let's start down here. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with this sheep right here. Here's the tongue. Here's the eye. Nose, tongue, eye, teardrop. I'm going to rotate it like this so you can see the teardrop right now. I want you to look at that teardrop and you can take it right up here. And I'm going to put this right where it goes. I want you to look right here at, at that serpent. As a matter of fact, I'm going to need a much cleaner uh, point than just that top. Here. So let me grab this knife to show it to you. Okay, so you see that point right there? That's the eye of the serpent. You can tell this is her headdress. She's got a serpent right here. 